Level up. My bad. I'm sorry. I just heard Beyonce. Rudy did a countdown, y'all. I heard Beyonce. I heard level up, level up, level up. Man, they got the shoulders going. I got the shoulders going. Um, Beyonce, make your shoulders go. I just, that's how I feel. But anyway, this is the uh, second episode of the OMG is Wick show. Um, I had a pretty good week. I feel good. I feel fantastic. You know what I'm saying? I woke up feeling kind of fantastic, but uh, anyways, I got my, my co-host here. You know how we rock. Can you tell the people? Um, I just woke up. I don't know about the fantastic part. Um, but you know, I don't want to be a downer. No, we up. So Level we're gonna, up. I'm a, we're going to talk today. I'm going to get it off my chest and I'll be in a better place. You think so? But I woke up, so I can't complain. That's right? it. So. Once you get up, I feel like at some point you got an option to make it either a good yeah. day or a bad day. Some, sometimes things happen out of your control. You know, people wake you up at five in the morning um, because that's the thing. To do. You know, I ain't going to get into my personal problem. I, um, I ain't been waking up the same since I hit 29, boy. It's different, right? I got bone shaking that I ain't even know could be rickety like that. You know what's crazy, though? So I'm on the internet, right? You know I make, I do the online videos. So I was on there, and somebody was like, Unk, man, you you is funny. And I'm like, Unk? <laughs> like, what, I'm Snoop Dogg now? You know what I'm saying? Because I, I feel like I went from, like, cool young guy to Unk overnight. That's what I feel like. So my question is, like, when do you become Unk? Like, at what age... It's unk appropriate to like answer to, but like, how close are you with this person? Do you know this person? No, it was just a random person on the internet. Don't I don't I don't know how unk is supposed to be properly used, but I feel like don't you have to know the person and be like unk? No, because you know how like Snoop Dogg's been everybody's unk for like twenty years. You know what I'm saying? Like Snoop Dogg, like when you see Snoop, everybody unk. What's up? Unk? You know what I'm saying? And I know I'm not Snoop Dogg. They know you know Snoop Dogg still yeah. in good you know uh, condition, but I'm just saying like. I didn't. I didn't know I had hit unk age. You know what I'm saying? Like I was one day I'm you know young, next day I'm unk. I don't. I don't know how that works. Like mm-hmm. when when y'all like when you use unk. Yeah. Um, like is it children calling you unk or adults nah, calling you? it's like you adults. Unk? Like but younger adults, like mm. adults in their twenties. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll be like, well, I'm in my, no, I'm not in my 20s. You know what I'm saying? Because you yeah. like one day you, you, you're you your 20s, the next day you're 30s, and then you're almost yeah. 40. Like it happens so quick. You just kind of, so when they start calling me unk, and I was like, I kind of felt like good because like all the unks are like the cool, I think Shannon Sharp is unk, yeah. Snoop Dogg is unk. So like are you putting me in that? Because I'm not their age, yeah. but if you're putting me in the light of, because I mean, I'm fans of them, like, mm-hmm. But so I was like, I, I was confused and I was like, let me talk to, like, I w- was waiting to talk about this because yeah. I felt like I, I wasn't ready to be called on, but I feel like I, it's a mixed emotions. Like, I feel yeah. good and I'm kind of confused at the same time. You know I what I'm saying? Because it seems like they, they might look at you as a mentor, but at the same time, mm. you respectfully calling me old. Basically. You respectfully, like disrespectfully calling me a senior citizen. But like the mentor thing, you know what? But... But I ain't gonna lie, cause I've been waiting to be a senior citizen, cause I hop the discount. Uh, boy, listen, boy, and the the villages. Boy, listen, I got my loofahs ready. Well, that's no, that's what, well, not the villages. That's your thing, but like you, I, you know, loofahs cause I've been deck. looking for a place recently, uh-huh. and all the places like it be cheap. You find a cheap price and you get excited, and then it's then you scroll down fifty five and up. So that's the only reason I'm like I'm waiting for that rent and to hit the right to the price. Villages, you know what you get I'm you some loofahs. Get you some upside down pineapples. Get Wait, you a flamingo. Are there single older women in the village? They don't have to be. They bought that. Well, no, I'm just saying because no, I ain't got to wait because then I could just move in. Yeah, they be the, inviting me the to their house. fifty-five and up. They be inviting me to uh-huh. their house. So, but wait, do you have to? You know what? I'm not even gonna say what I was gonna say. Um, or no, I know how to say it in a respectful way. What if I'm not that great of a performer? Do you think I could still impress a 55 year old woman enough to convince her to let me move in with her? They've been living a long time, man, and so I feel like. They've experienced a lot of things. And plus, from what I heard, were well, you talking about the villages or just any the, 55? Well, I was talking about the villages. Oh, yeah, because listen, I heard about key parties. I heard, I ain't, listen, villages, I have no, I'm cool with y'all. I'm ready to come to the villages. Um, but they have key, party, key parties. They have the loofahs, the upside down pineapples. Don't get caught with like a, a flamingo. Wait, is the loofah thing just like a signal thing or do you do something with the loofah? See, so they're good. So I'm going to tell you how good they are. They're very good at what they do. So a lot of people, they'll be like, oh, that just means, because, okay, so what the loofahs are 
is they're supposed to be for older people to find their cars in like parking lots, right? Which is genius. But what the villages has done, some people in the Hold villages, on, it's not confused. everybody. How does a loofah help you find your car? So it, okay, so I worked at Sam's Club a long time ago, and uh-huh. there's a lot of older people that lost their vehicles. Like a lot of them, they'll come out and they like there was one lady that called the police and everything. She thought her vehicle got stolen. Turns out it was just on the other side. Like she came out, it was on the other side. She thought she came mm-hmm. out in in the same door. Um, I don't know how that works, but whatever. So, yeah. um. She so now they put like loofah. So if you have so if it's like thirty caravans and out there, and yours has a purple loofah, like you're gonna be like, that's my caravan. You know Wait, what I'm saying? So these people are so old to the point where it's not that they lost the location; they can't even tell they minivan from another minivan. Well, I'm gonna tell you the truth, man. I don't even think it's an old thing because I was at the gym the other day, and now I got a Toyota. I walked up to a black Nissan, and the lady was like, "That ain't your car, baby." And I'm like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> this ain't even me. You know what I'm saying? So I if I'd have had a purple loof up there, though, I would have knew where my car at. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't think it's like fully aged thing, but um, I do feel like. But the, what the people in the villages have done to like code that because they know that people use it for those purposes. So every loofah you see is not older people swinging. Now, what the villages have done, they color coded loofahs. And if you're around a certain area, it lets people know what you're down with. So it's kind of like a code, like a, hey, now everybody don't know about this, but this is what we doing. And that's how the key parties happen. Mm -hmm. So they have like low key parties, you know what I'm saying? And these are like signals to let people know what you're in. Like there's another thing, like if you leave your garage partial way up, Uh that's a signal that you, you in business for the night. You know what I'm saying? Wait, so these are senior citizens, so nobody's like sliding under that thing. Cause no, 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 no. Right. It's, just, it's just like it's if just you're driving signal. by, you golf cart, you're like, oh. They, oh, they, so they, it's like back in there, you know how they say, oh, tie a sock around yeah, your hand or yeah. a hand or something. Okay. It's like that's that, like up. let you know what's up. You know what I'm saying? But that's enough about me and my, my, bit, my dreams of moving to the villages when I retire. Let's talk about what happened to you this week. So, yeah, so um, I'm 36 and single. Um, you heard that, Florida, y'all. right? So, yeah, uh, just dating in general is a struggle, it's right? Rough. It's rough. Um, but I was blessed enough to to have a young lady approach me recently. Yeah, um, I'm at work. You know, you know, you ever like at work, you like flirt with somebody just to flirt with them. <laughs> like you don't think nothing's gonna happen. You just like, oh, she's cute. I'm gonna flirt with her. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, about. you know, you know right? me. So I flirt back, but I never thought she had any, you know, interest. It's like we're just joking. We're flirting. And then one day she just like pulls up to my desk and is like, um, do you mind, can I buy you lunch Friday? And I'm like, um, sure, let's she's go, smooth. that's cool, she's right? Smooth. I like that. So uh, Friday comes and she's like, you know, early Friday, she's like, hey, you ready? We got this lunch. And I'm like, dang, I, I just found out I got to take my team members out to lunch. Um, and she's like, you know, can we rain check? And then I, it popped in my head. I'm like, oh, wait, I got a dinner to go to this Friday night. Yeah. So I didn't think it was going to work. I was like, uh, would you like to just be my date for dinner Friday? Yeah. And she was like, yeah, I'd love I was like, oh, okay. Love That's it. what's up. Okay. Let's go, right? Okay. So we get together with a big group of friends, friends' birthday. We're, it's a dinner. It's awesome. Uh, we had a real good time. You know, had a couple drinks, you know. So we weren't Lip drunk, away, but we just tipsy. It yeah. was very nice. And we were having fun, laughing, joking. Um, and then we're told that there's uh, also going to be a trip to the nightclub after that. <laughs> um, and a very ratchet nightclub at that, right? Yeah. So it's like, I don't want to go, but I can see that she wants to go. So I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. We're, we've been having fun. What's the big deal, right? Whatever. I'll suck it up and go. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll get to spend some more time with her, talk to her. <laughs> so we leave the restaurant and everybody's like, all right, well, we'll meet you at the club. And I, I guess I have my 36 year old brain on, right? So we leave straight from the restaurant to the club. We get to the club. The club is dead. It's like 10 45, 11. The club's dead. Yeah. It's just me and her, and nobody else has showed up there yet. Yeah. Um, and then we're sitting down at the bar having a drink. She buys me a drink. She's like, you know, drinks are on me. You pay for dinner, drinks are on me. I'm like, this lady knows how to I like work this the attitude. room, right? I like, I like this. I said, attitude. this, this, you know, and I'm already like, kind of like, eh, because she's younger. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's 25, I'm 36. 11 year gap, right? But I'm like, oh, she seems mature. She's on it. She's trying to cater. She's taking care of me. Hey, you know, let's see how this let's go. go. 
So we have a couple of drinks, and then uh, we're still waiting for these people. It's been like 30 minutes. She turns to me, hey, just so you know, um, I, I was texting my friend. I invited my friend. He's coming over, or he's coming to the club, and I'm like, well, that's weird. Yes. Well, I don't know if I'm overthinking it, but I'm like, you know, this is the first time we hanging out. This is a date, quotes, right? Mm-hmm. And then she's like, yeah, he's real little. You'll wait till you see how little he is. And I'm like, what? Like, that's a random fact, but okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so we're still waiting on people to come. So the people we're waiting on finally show up and they got completely different outfits. And then I'm like, oh, old oh, man, these young people went to their house change. to get a whole new, they thought there was Lady Gaga wardrobe change. Yeah. Come back, right? Yeah. I'm like, cool, whatever. They show up, more drinks, more drinks. We're dancing. I'm dancing with a girl. We're having a good time. Here comes the little friend. And I know exactly what she was talking about. He was the little little friend, right? Eye contact, little friend. I'm like, okay, gotcha. But here was the weird part about this little friend is like, so he gets to the club, they buy drinks, and the whole night, he's just like shoulder to shoulder with her, like following her around like like he's her child. Yeah. Right? Did you say that because he's little? Well, the, no, it's the combination. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. It's the combination of the height and the shoulder to shoulder. Because yeah, you know when yeah. you take your kids out when they were young and they're yeah. nervous, or even your girls now, right? Yeah. They, they're a little shy at times. So if you take them somewhere, they're going to be by you like yeah, yeah, close, yeah, right? right? There, yeah. So it's like that. So I'm like, okay, look at her and her little son. Okay. <laughs> and, um, but I'm annoyed too. So I'm like, because I'm like, I kind of, I don't, I'm not an ego guy, but I'm like, these people I came with probably looking at me weird, like, why this girl you came with and this guy all up on her, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But I'm like, whatever. And then I look behind me, and she's twerking on this little guy. Uh-huh. And then he's smacking her butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh. I look at my watch. Yeah, I'm done. It's right? time to go. It's so my go. watch said 1245. I said, all right. Well, I planned it in my head. My 36-year-old, I'm mature. 1 a.m., I'm out here. Yeah, with yeah, or yeah. without you, I'm out here. 1 a.m., you got 15 minutes of my life left. So... Um, you would think the weirdness is over, especially as I had the weird. I thought the weirdness with the height would be over, but apparently it wasn't. So then I look, she's at the bar, and there's another little dude next to her, and he buys her a shot, and they're taking a shot together. Uh-huh. And I look, and I know this guy. This yeah. guy um, dated my cousin. Yeah. He's he actually got her pregnant. They about to have a baby. Oh. Um. And also, I know he on, he on them hard drugs, right? Oh, oh, okay. So anyway, they take the shot, and the girl that I was with is drunk out of her mind already. She takes the shot, and then she leaves the bar and goes to go use the bathroom. So here's where it gets weirder. She goes, she's walking. This little guy runs. I'm talking about sprints in the middle of a nightclub and grabs her hand to pull her back, and she yanks her hand and just casually walks over to the bathroom like, like a stranger didn't just try to yank her, right? Yes. And then the, the, the little stranger guy, little guy number two, Starts to sprint again to the other side of the club to these three girls he don't know and starts twerking on them and they about to fist fight him. Oh. So I'm like, oh, okay. I said, I'm done. I said, it's it's 12.55. I ain't waiting those five minutes. Yeah, it's too much going so on. So she come out the bathroom and I'm like, ma'am, um, I'm done. I'm going to go. Are you coming with me or are you going to go with your little friend and his power wheel? Uh, you going to go home with him, up. right? It's pretty messed up. Um, and then she actually, one of the girls that came, she talks to the girls. No, she's going to take me home. I'm like, all right, cool. So we were there for the birthday. I went to say bye to the birthday girl. I don't know how. This girl's like a magician because I had left before her. Somehow when I go say bye to my homegirl, she already is there with uh, little guy number one. Uh-huh. Um, and so I say bye to my homegirl. And then I go to say bye to her. Like I'm trying to tell her to be safe. So, you know, you in the club. It's loud. So I go up to her ear and I'm like, all right, well, I'm ready to go. Uh, get home safe. Hit me up when you get home. And then she grabs my face <laughs> and she's like, don't leave. And I'm like, no, nah, I got to go, but you could come. And she's like, no. And then she kisses me. She tries to make out with me in the club. And I'm like, oh. And her little friend's there. And I'm like, you know what? I don't know what's going on. I'm headed home. Yeah. Um, but that just gave me a realization. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, I should not be it. I'm done with nightclubs, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. done with nightclubs. This should not be a thing. And I'm done with these younger women. I said, I, my limit was pretty. Well, I had my, my limit was like, I'm not going to date anybody younger than 27. But then my friend here who's at this point a bad friend, convinced me to, hey, drop it to 25. No, that ain't what I said. I dropped it that to 25. That ain't what I said. We have, we have footage to prove what you right. said, that there weren't any women our age that have no kids. And that. And I said, yes, there are. There, and I gave you like, hey, there's possibilities. Now, all I'm saying is it was possible. Um, I don't think it was well, probably an age thing. Okay, I will say that. Because partying in... 
our 20s and partying in our 30s has become two different Way things. Way different. Because like back then, if somebody back then if somebody was like, hey, we meeting at the club at 11, I'm like, cool. You know what I'm saying? No yeah. problem. You sure you don't want to make it 12? What time are we leaving? Bet. 4 o'clock? Say, say less. Bet. In my Bet. 30s, you tell me, hey, we meeting at the club at, at 10. I'd be like, hey, listen. Either, if I, either I'm one or two things. Either I have to be really convinced to go and I have to take a nap. I have to take a nap yeah. that day. Um, and it can't be last second. I got to plan my whole yes. day around this. My whole day is planned around the, yeah, this, yeah. this whole situation. So if you invite me to the club, give me three days yeah. because I need to fully maneuver my schedule mm-hmm. and, and my naps to like prepare myself. And plus I know I need the next day because if I party at night now, I'm going to need two days to recover. To recover like yeah. I know my body's not going to be the same. So I know I'm going to – so. What we were talking about, I think we were talking about this. I feel like now we're at a day party age. Like we're at a we're at a point in our life to where a good day party is, is where I feel like we're at day party age. Like I used to look at the older people back then and be like, "Why are they partying in the middle of the you day?" You think they're lame? Like, are you lame? <laughs> why, why are you partying you, in the middle of the day party? You got to drink your hand at five p.m. Like, listen, whack. Now, when when somebody has a day party, guess who's in the building? Me. Every single time, especially if it's a day party mixed with R&B, 2 to 7, that means I could be home by 8, 8.30. I could be in the bed by 9, 30, 10. Bro, you can sign me up for that. I've never been to a day party. We got to go like, to a When day you party. describe that, I'm like, <laughs> that's hitting. Because that's, that's what, I feel like that's where we're, we're at now yeah. in, in our life. Uh, nighttime parties are no longer. And somebody made a sketch about this. And mm-hmm. it, you know how you feel something so much? And I saved it on my phone and I rewatch it. The sketch was he was saying he was hanging out with younger friends and they were like, hey, we're going to meet at the club at about not at 10 p.m. 10. And he was like, p.m. And they were like, <laughs> <laughs> they were like, yeah, 10 p.m. He was like, at night. <laughs> and I felt that because that's my whole like that's my whole. Yeah. If I'm going out on a date with you or because, you know, you have certain people that want to hang out with you. And they're like, hey, I'm coming over. And it's like 11. I'm like, you know no, what? Just not. come tomorrow. No, Just you're not. Come tomorrow in the daytime like a normal person. I hope you're like my porch. Yeah. You're not, making it through <laughs> you're the not front getting door. here. I'm telling you, you're not getting here. Because I, I don't feel like I'm at that age no more to where I'm hanging out all night. Like, if you want to see me, the, the sweet spot is from like four to seven. That's the sweet spot. Now, if you can convince me after that to stay longer, but I'm telling you, I'm going home by like yeah. 10. At, by 10, I'm going home. I don't care what you say. I'm yeah, on a, on a Friday or Saturday, I'll give you a, maybe a 10 p.m. max. Maybe. You might get 11. Yeah. If I like you, you might get 11. But for the most part, I'm not staying out all night. I don't got time. I want to be in my bed watching something on Netflix or, or Hulu. Like, I don't want to be doing all that extra stuff. I don't want to be out Especially here. Especially on a Sunday, bro. I'm trying to be in my bonnet in bed by 7 I'm p.m. I'm telling you, like, like. Don't talk to me, bro. Don't, don't even call me. I get mad when somebody texts me. At like 11. Like, what are you texting me at 11 oh, nah. for? That ended the friendship. Oh, and then they call you? Listen, don't call me. You let people call you? I no. don't care what time it is. I don't want nobody calling me. Just text I don't me. Either. Text me and be like, I'm going to call you. And I'm like, all right, cool. Bet. Let, yeah, see, check bet. my temperature first. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, don't just. You know what I don't like when the people text you and you don't answer and then they call you right after that? Because well, how I long after? Because I, I right, Immediately. Oh, no, nah, So they different. text you and then. Within a minute, like you're checking the text message and then they start calling you. And it's even worse when they try to FaceTime you because I'm, I'm most of the time I'm not like FaceTime ready. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm doing something else and I don't want to like, if I don't answer your text of me, well, now nah, I can't say that because my phone be away sometimes. But like, don't, if, if I don't answer your text, don't call me and then don't FaceTime me. You know well, what I'm saying? I'm okay with the calling if I don't answer after a certain amount of time, but FaceTime, I don't play that. If it's important. Yeah. It has to be important. Is that a young thing? Why you got to FaceTime me? Yeah, like, we can't, you don't like my voice? I feel like I got a beautiful voice. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, talk to me. You know what I'm But, like I said, search, search, if you want to show me something, okay, FaceTime me. But for the most part, just call me. And it, it got to be important. And if like you, you me, said, you should warn somebody if you're going to FaceTime. You yeah, don't know what's like, going hey, on. let me FaceTime. You're like, you like, you know what you got to do just to mess with them on purpose? Just no matter where you are, just go to the bathroom and sit on the toilet and be like, all right, you wanted to talk this bad? What's well, up? What's up? Yeah, I can just confuse them. I, I don't know. I just, I, I feel like I'm at an age now to where peace has become yes. more important than anything else. Like, it's, it's like peace. If it disturbs what I'm doing and disturbs with my peace, yeah. then I don't want to do it. And I think that's why dating has become so hard. 
in my thirties. No, you're right. Because that story I was telling with the girl back, the old me, I, I would have waited till the club closed yeah. at two, and I'm gonna take you home. <laughs> you gonna you gonna tolerate you know? some things. You gonna you gonna like when you're younger, you like you know what. Yeah. You you willing to tolerate certain things that you know in your twenties, but I know I've noticed in my thirties. I think that's the hardest thing about dating. In my thirties is now because I don't like I said I'm I'm so what's the word I'm looking for? I'm so in love with my peace. Like I'm so in love with my peace, and if somebody comes along and like starts disturbing that, yeah, I'm like all right, you gotta go, you gotta yeah, go, you. and I think that's why. Like I said, it's been the most difficult thing for me. No, it is. Because even with that, that night and that girl, I, uh, I was more excited to go home to an Epsom salt bath yeah. than to have her at my house. You know what I'm saying? And you think about so, all the time you could have had doing, probably, it could be just something regular. Like, I'll be, I've, I, I've been out, right? And it'll be like, a, I, I was in a situation like that um, where I let someone, we were hanging out and then they were like, hey, let's go to the club. Uh, one time it was okay. One time it was okay. Yeah. Um, I wore a Villager shirt and people were trying to take us home. But the, it was a time before that where I was hanging out. We were at the girl. She convinced me to go to a club. This is with a different girl. Um, she convinced me to go to a club and I'm sitting there like, bro, what am I doing? I could be, and I started thinking yeah. about all the stuff all the I could be doing could be at doing home. Like, yeah. I got I got some Publix in the house. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got some chick. I got a sub that I need to finish. Yeah. I can warm it up. Like, I'm, I'm I'm, already, like, visualizing how I can warm it up in the yeah. wrapper to make the bread so the mm -hmm. steam warm up. Like, that's what I'm yeah. thinking about in the middle of the club, and that's when I knew I was no longer club age. Like, I was no longer stay out to 3 in the morning age. Like, I'm, I'm definitely, like... You know what makes me mad, though, and I don't know if you've been through it, because that night I had the same realization. I said, never again. Never. Yeah. No mas. It's not, there was nothing interesting about this. But I feel like I've said that before recently and still ended up in this situation. You, but I have to, So I have to be strong. I, I want to be done. I have to be strong. I want to just go do something so I'm permanently banned and I don't ever have to worry about well, it Well, don't again. do that. Don't do that, because you so. never know when you, you, know, you need it. But like, what I'll say, because you, you want to give people more than one chance. Like they, yeah. Maybe they learn from their mistake. Uh, maybe they learn from... And, and like I said, even when you're getting to know people, it's about what you don't and what you don't, you know, what you like and what you don't like. And y'all are getting to know each other's, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So something like that could be just, hey, um, you know, a, a conversation. Hey, yeah. I feel like, you know, I don't, I don't like the club. I don't like yeah. this. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to do it to be with you, but that was just too much. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. I feel like a conversation. No, I agree with you. Because, that that. you know, sometimes like in the moment, like in the moment I was like, yeah, I don't want to talk to this girl no more. I'm done. But then I'm like, how would I feel if somebody judged me based off of one interaction that we had, right? Yeah, and especially if y'all so, are still getting to know each other. Yeah, so, so it's like that, that's like I don't know. I, I feel I feel you on that. I so, definitely. Feel so I'm gonna give it a shot. We'll see what. what happens. I say you should. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm trying to get. In, I'm trying to be in a wedding. Just let me sing at the wedding, though. Oh I'm no, hundred percent. I got Jodeci boots, and I got like. I told you what. If this, listen, if this comedy thing don't work out, right? B boxing R and B. Oh, that's gonna be the album. B boxing R and B. I'm going to oh do God. beatbox and sing over the beatbox. All right, good luck, bro. Manny, I'm telling you, listen, career move. Career move. Listen, it's either going to be good or it's going to be horrible, and either way, we're going to be entertained. So. Exactly, because I'm going to do have I gotta, I, 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 well, I ordered a silk tank top so I can like pull it. You know how they Wait, do when it. you say tank top. The silk tank, it's got to be loose, though. Is it like, can, is it cut off at the belly? Like, is it a belly shirt? No, no, no. It's like the big oh. ones, the oversized Silk tank top. You know how like KC yeah, yeah, yeah. used to have a tank top and it's like loose, so it it, it loop. There's the the air, neck is like breathing. right. Yeah, yeah the yeah. neck is like right. So you could, you know what I'm saying? It almost like a pajama top. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Wait, what pants you wearing with that? Uh, I'm trying to get. I, I'm thinking about either getting the leather pants or the cargo. Don't do, all right, so look, you know how he's talking about the age thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't just take the leather pants out of your. But don't Keith Sweat still doing it, huh? Keith Sweat still wearing leather pants. Don't 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 try to be like Keith, Keith Sweat. Sweat is a legend. All right, bro, I warned you. I warned you. We do you. stay in Florida though. That was another thing though. Like I don't know if it's me, right? I don't know if it's me because I was at home recently today, and my kids, my little sister came over, my niece came down from Georgia, and we're outside, and they all got on hoodies, and I'm like, bro, like is it? And then I remember I used to do that. So my question to you is: the sun like does the sun get hotter the older you get? Because I don't feel like this is the same sun when we was younger. No, it's different. Like, I don't feel like it's... And I try to question that. No, I feel you on that, too. Because you're like, all right, 
well, if, if we're getting older and we're dying down, why ain't the sun following suit? Like, why are you is it turning up? strong? Yeah. Like, how you <laughs> let me know what you're doing. Like, let me know your workout uh, plan. No, but the hoodie thing, bro, that's so annoying. Like, I just want to run around. You know them, them people who hate, like, with people that wear fur, so they spray paint down? <laughs> yeah. That's what I want to do when I see They'll these kids still wear in hoodies, it. dog. But then, I, you know what I realized, too? Because I used to work at Sam's Club, right? And I used to work as a car attendant, so I was working outside, right? And... The other day, I'm like, because I had to meet someone to pick up a jacket, and I met him at Sam's Club. So you know, I used like, I, I was like, I used to do this. Like, I'm standing outside and it's hot. I'm yeah. sweating, and I'm like, bro, I used to do this for eight hours a day, just out there in that sun. Like, there's no way I can be out there, bro. I, I don't. I feel like I would pass out the moment. Like, if I had to be out there for an yeah, hour or two, pull like carts I'm, today, you're done. With I'm it. done with. If I have to pull carts today, I'm done. Like, I, but I. So I feel like the older you get. The hot it has to be, cause I remember like you being younger, being outside all day, hanging out all running day, running around. Not yeah. just being outside, running and around. You, that's what you know, like you and you just outside. You go from sport to sport. You soccer, football, basketball. Now you got to race somebody because they yep. talking trash and they, you know, on hot cement. It was yes, nothing. It, oh, nothing. yes, and nothing. you just outside. And I go out there now sometimes because I be trying to do my my health stuff. So I'm like, let me go get some sun because you know the sun is good for you. And I'm like, bro. That's actually how I got started with this. The sun. I was outside one day, and I was like, this sun is whooping me. And that, like, bro, I feel like this sun is getting hotter. I feel like it's getting stronger. I feel like it's done, it's done like Super Saiyan, Ultra Instinct. Yeah. I feel like it done hit Ultra Instinct at this point, and we can't survive it. No, I agree. Like, and even now, if I, like, when I go shopping and I got to take it back to the car return, have paramedics on standby because I, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, my head going to hit a rail. I'm going to pass out. Don't play with me. It's boy. too hot out there. But I feel like the sun just jumped right on your back. Like, I went, I went, this is why I got a gym membership too. Let me explain why. Because I used to go to the parks and run. And this is when I first started. So, well, you know, when you started, I started trying to work out again because I was trying to get my summer body, which it ain't going to be ready to next year. So, <laughs> summer body 2024 coming 2024. It ain't going to be ready this year, maybe. So, but I, when I started working out, it's like December, January. You know, we don't really, it's not really too hot. It's like good weather. Yeah. Like we got, we're in the 70s, so it's perfect weather. So, I'm out there. Bro, I tried to go jog the other day. I made it around. Like, I don't even think I made Like, you know how you get out of the car and you like, and I stopped. Like, I, I didn't last... <laughs> Ten, like 10 steps. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go to the gym. Like, and I got in the car and went to the gym because that sun had hit me so hard in those 10 steps. Bro, I went I went and got, I went right to the gym. I got on a treadmill. I was in there like I was like a maniac, but I wouldn't go back outside in that sun. I'll tell you that. I wonder if somebody was watching you. <laughs> you start to sprint and then you just stop. And then Bro, I, I, I was doing the stretch like, and everything. Look, I was doing the stretch and everything. They watched me stretch and everything. And then you know how you're like... All right, this, this, I'm tripping. What am I doing? Like, it hit me. Like, bro, I'm tripping. What are you doing? You just got to pretend like you pulled a hand. Yeah. Just go to the car. I, 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 I and I, I'm good at that, too, because when I ran track, but that was my mood. That or my asthma. I was always shaking my hand. It was empty sometimes, but when I ran just track. Just to play school, it off when you was yeah, when when I I dusted. Wanted, when we was doing, like, short distance stuff, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, we can do this. And as soon as they'd be like, all right, it's time to do the conditioning. Who? <laughs> Start shaking that inhaler. <laughs> Robinson, go sit over there. Yeah, you right. Cause boy, not me, not uh, me, not I. And you know, I think track season is like around what now? So just imagine how hot it is now. Like, no, track season was what a few months ago. It's still hot. We in Florida. It's always hot. So they probably don't even do track meets no more as hot as it is over here. Bro, I remember the hottest track meet I went to was in Immokalee. Like I felt like my cleats, my metal cleats, were melting into the cement, like to the. Uh, track like that's what i felt like i was like bro this got to be the hottest place on earth and you know i stayed in immokalee till i was five and i went to immokalee a lot because my grandmother's and i was like that's where i used to play at like i used to play in immokalee how no shirt sticking to your chest bro Absor like absorbing your chest hair it had to be <laughs> yeah it had to be because i listen i don't know i don't know but that's just how i i feel I feel like getting older is, is definitely a blessing. We just have to accept um, it. Um, things are going to change, and you just we got to find the positive things in those changes. What's positive about that sun out there? Oh, no, nothing. No, forget the sun. We're not going to. There's no debate. <laughs> I, I'm just, the sun to me at this point is like one of those family members that is like, yeah, I know that, that you know, we family, but y I don't want to be around you, yeah, dog. Be I, over I there, and I'm going to be over here. For what you do, 
but just do it at a distance. Don't do it. Yeah. Let me do do what you do outside while I'm in I'm going to love you from over here. Yeah, in the AC. Enjoying the AC. But like I said, I do try to try to go outside every now and again. But if you invite me to an outdoor, let me let me talk to the people. If y'all invite me to an outdoor event in August, I'm going to assume that you hate me. I'm going to assume that you hate yeah, me. That's disrespect. You don't like me. And you, like I said, that's di- I feel like you have to hate me to invite me to anywhere in August outside. No, I agree. Like, I agree. That's why that's how I feel. But, I mean, I feel like. I feel like we covered it all. What you think? Yeah, we talked about being senior citizens, and I can't wait to go to the villages, boy. Listen, oh, we should listen. We should talk get a about duplex. pulling a hamstring. Boy. We should get, boy. Listen, boy, we should get a duplex, right? Wait, and we like boy, Airbnb a duplex or buy a no, duplex? No, no, no. When we when we retire, oh, okay, okay. We go should ahead, get man. like a duplex. Oh, a triplex. Could we get Rudy in there? And we should put like loofahs, like all co- all the just colors. hanging like just Christmas let them know ornaments. We yeah, let them know we with it all. <laughs> like get the trees. Hang loofahs from it. Let them know we with everything. All our garages be up halfway. Lights, all the different colors. Like, it could just be flashing lights. And then, could, boy, it's, it's oh, listen, uh, lithuation. Look, I'm gonna leave that up to you, bro. Because the way I'm feeling now, I can imagine. I can't imagine how I'm feeling at 55. I'm gonna have about two and a half loofahs of the things I want to do. I'm good. Like, nah, I need all limited. I need boy. every color. I need to know I'm with yeah. everything. Hey, listen, I, well, I'm going to live through you. Tell me the stories. I'm going to get multiple keys made so at the keys party, I'm just going to drop like five keys in there and they all going to come back with me. But listen, boy, I can't wait. Boy, I'm excited. I can't wait to retire into the villages. There's so much I want to say that I just can't. <laughs> um. But yeah, that's it. I think that's it, y'all. I feel like we done covered it all. I can't wait to retire. Y'all say some room for me in the villages. but Stay uh, safe out there in the villages. Lead, lead the people with a, with a message, man. I, I feel like you got a good um, message for this. Yeah. Uh, just, you know, before, you know, just, just think. Be mindful. And I definitely suggest that you research STD statistics for the 55 and up communities. Yes, You'd listen, be surprised. What I'm going to leave people You're welcome. With. Is at that age, does it really like you don't live your life? You made a very good point. No, you know what? I take mine back. You don't live hey, your life. Shoot your shot, bro. Like at this shoot point, your YOLO. You right. I take it back. You know what? I'm going to be in the villages with you. I'm there. It's <laughs> a lift away. But that's it. I'm there. OMG is Wick Show episode two. We already had two. Two ain't a big number, but I like the number two. Anyways, that's it for today. Um, we'll see y'all next week. You know what I'm saying? Manny will be back with me. We may have somebody else. We may not. You never know. Depends, Just pull up. Depends on what happens at the villages. We might be back. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's it. Cue my theme music. Oh my God, it's Wix, Wix.